this dental phobic patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 28. As you can see, decay approximated the pulp, periperical lucency here, and endodontic retreatment of tooth number 30. As you can see, previous root canal, periperical lucency here, and here, this root canal was done according to the patient in Florida a few years ago. This was approximately eight months ago when I saw this patient. And here's the date. There was also a buccal sinus tract associated with tooth number 30. And that's the tooth right there. And you can see the sinus tract right there. That's tooth number 28 right here. Here's immediately after we redid the root canal on tooth number 30. As you can see, everything went beautifully, you removed the old gutter percha and irrigated three dimensionally. Uh, of course, reshaped and reinstrumented and everything. Um, activated full strength sodium hypochlorite, 6% sodium hypochlorite, sonically and ultrasonically. Look at that beautiful anastomosis between the mesial canals. The apical diameter of the distal canal was over 50, so I placed an MTA plug followed by gutta percha and sealer and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist, okay? So we did all of this in one appointment. This is one appointment. One appointment endodontic retreatment. And here's the date. Then patient came back and I worked on tooth number 28 and did that root canal. Again, in one appointment, removed the decay, rebuilt the distal wall there and as you can see, everything went great again. As I said, we did this in one appointment. You can see periperical lucency there. And that's tooth number 30 that we worked on, of course. And here's the date. As you can see, about eight months ago. And this was just now today. Eight months post-op of teeth number 28 and number 30. Patient still hasn't gotten teeth number 28 and number 30, permanently restored. Eight months after we worked on these teeth and we told this patient, we said, cavit, what we use to temporize the teeth with, cavit is only good for three weeks. That's a study that shows after three weeks, cavit leaks. We told the patient, you, need, you have three weeks to go back to your dentist. He never did. But as you can see, number 28 healed completely. Look at number 30, distal, periperiodolucency healed completely, mesial, still working on it, it's gotten much, much smaller. And here's the date. Intraorally, the sinus tract is healed completely as well, as you can see. Excellent.